In this video, we're going to log into the GRUZ portal with an existing user account and learn how to create a new entity, manage the details of an entity, add collaborators, and set the access level of collaborators. In your browser, navigate to grezb.com. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the login button for the GRUZ portal. Click on this and use your login details to sign in. You'll we'll be taken to the assessment portal page. On this page, you will find an overview table of your reporting entities. Under the table is the button to create new entities. Clicking on this button will take you to a form to fill in details about the reporting entity. These steps are the same for both real estate and infrastructure entities. But for infrastructure, you will first indicate whether the entity is a fund or an asset, which will take you to the appropriate form. Fill in the details for your reporting entity. When creating a new reporting entity, use the complete company fund or asset name, making sure that it will be possible for your investors and for GRESB to identify the entity from the name you provided. Click Save at the bottom to return to the overview. We'll work with an entity that has already been set up. If you need to edit details of an entity, click on Manage. Edit the details and press save at the bottom of the form. By clicking on the reporting entity name or on view assessments, you can access the assessments for that entity and relevant news from GRESP. For this new reporting entity, there are no assessments available. For entities that have reported in other years, you'll be able to access past assessments here. Clicking on all reporting entities, or on the assessment portal link in the menu bar will return you to the overview table. By clicking on access, you can manage collaborators and their access level. Collaborators can be assigned at various levels of access. Underneath the table, click the link, learn more about access levels to see which rights each type of user has and be sure you assign collaborators the appropriate access level. Only account managers can invite new users and submit an assessment. The table at the top shows the current collaborators for this entity. At the bottom of the table, click on Invite New Collaborator. Enter the email address, choose the access level, and press Invite. If the user is already in the GRESB portal, you will directly see that they are an active collaborator. If the user does not exist in the portal, then they will receive an email inviting them to set up a user account and their status will show as invited until they have done so. You can also resend the invitation if your colleague cannot find the email in their inbox. As an account manager, you can revoke the access of other collaborators at any time. Starting in 2020, it is mandatory for real estate entities to report at the asset level. In the access level column, you can indicate whether a collaborator should be able to manage asset level data. You will not see this option for collaborators on infrastructure entities. On the right-hand side of the screen, you will see a panel with some of the same links as in the Entity Overview table. The Additional Assets link will take you to the Asset Portal, where you will come to enter and edit asset level data. The Asset Portal is currently under construction before the assessment cycle starts on April 1st. This is the end of the tutorial for real estate users. Continue watching for a brief overview of the Infrastructure Assessment Portal. So return to the assessment portal overview and click on the infrastructure tab. You will notice that the setup is the same as for real estate. There is an overview of funds and assets you are a collaborator on. You can create new funds and assets, view assessments, 
manage entity details, invite collaborators and assign access levels.